Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how to start FIFA 21 Ultimate Team with the web app and with EA Access. I wanna teach you guys how to make coins during this period and get you on your way from taking the club from zero, where everybody starts at, all the way up to tons of coins, trying to get guys like Mbappe, Ben Yedder, um, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, all those types of players. And I just want to teach you how to start your FIFA Ultimate Team journey the best with FIFA 21 coming here very, very soon. There's going to be two different parts that we're talking about today regarding FIFA 21 and how to get started. And that is the web app and EA Access. Those are two dates that are coming very soon that we have to talk about. And this is like the first two opportunities that we have as players of FIFA to get involved with FIFA 21 Ultimate Team and start our progress, start our clubs, start our teams, and just start building from the ground up in FIFA 21. So let's talk about the web app first. This is obviously the FIFA 20 web app. We do not have FIFA 21 web app yet. The FIFA 21 web app is supposedly going to be announced around the September 30th, somewhere between September 27th and September 30th. That's when we will be expecting the web app to go live. The link to this web app will be on EA Sports' page, and I'll put a link to it down below if you've never used it. Uh, usually, people get access to the web app right away if you're using the same account that you did last year. If you switched consoles, you might not get FIFA 21 web app um, access just yet uh, because usually they EA gives the web app access to accounts that are already um, you know they're already set up they've already been playing games and it's not just a new account that you're creating so usually you have to have some sort of uh, you have to use the account before that a number of games played or time spent we don't really know what the requirements are uh, on the previous FIFA but that's how you get into the web app and that's how you get access but this is the way that you access your club for the very first time in FIFA 21. You will log in, and basically when you log in, the first thing you're going to see is pre-order packs. If you've played the game before, you will have a probably a pretty small assortment of packs sitting in the store section of the web app, where there you will be able to open those packs and to start to decide what you want to do with those players. Is it going to be worth it if I sell them, or is it going to be worth it if I hold onto them? What do you do from there. And that's what I want to talk about next regarding advanced SBCs, right? So the first thing you do when you get into the web app is you log in, you get in here and you see that you have some packs available and you're like, okay, well, obviously I'm going to rip these packs. You open up the packs that are in the store section of the web app right here. I obviously don't have any, but you will see a my pack section. You will open up those packs and what you get from those packs, whether you want to sell or whether you want to keep those players, those terms on a simple, simple thing. If that player is about 86 rated or above, or it's a very meta player, a very popular player that a lot of people are going to be wanting to go after, uh, that is probably over 50 K. If it's 50, 50,000 coins or more, that's a guaranteed hold in my opinion, because a lot of players that get packed when you open your pre-order packs during the web app, those players will rise significantly in the coming days as EA access and the full game come out. Players like Shunman Sun, players like Mbappe, players like Ben Yedder, um, you know, Sergio Aguero, Messi, Ronaldo, those types of players. If you're lucky enough to pack one of those tradable, you definitely want to hold on to that card because it is going to rise exponentially in value a couple days after you first open it on the web app. Everything else you probably want to sell because from those coins that you make from the pre-order packs, we're going to be going and completing SBCs. You're like, yo. I'm, you're actually telling me to go complete SBCs and open packs at the very beginning of FIFA Ultimate Team. And yes, I am. These two SBC sections right here, hybrid leagues and hybrid nations, should be the first thing that you guys do when you get onto the web app. I know it seems crazy to open your pre-order packs and maybe have, you know, 30,000 coins, 20, 30,000 coins at the most. And you're, you're, you're telling me to go do SBCs and to pack players? Yes, I am. Because at this stage of the game, so many players are very expensive and you can get a lot of sales um, 
cards that are 80 rated, 79 rated might be going three to four to 5,000 coins and they won't be in a couple days after this. So you take those coins there and you do these SBCs because you get some really good packs back from these SBCs. Let's talk about the uh, hybrid leagues SBC by itself. You get a prime mixed players pack, prime electrum, mega pack, and a rare players pack, a 50,000 coin pack. And right at the beginning of the year last year, this SBC only costed you 25 to 30,000 coins. Now that kind of does seem like a lot early on in the game, but the the, pot the potential payout from these SBCs, you're almost guaranteed to make profit from these SBCs. So in my opinion, the first thing that you want to do is do these both of these hybrid leagues and hybrid nations. Again, they both cost around 25 to 30,000 coins. You can do one first, then do the other if you would like. And this is going to set you off the ground and get you um, a decent amount of coins. Maybe you even just make your coins back. You still might have 30, 40, 50, 60,000 coins. Maybe you hit somebody big, a couple hundred thousand coin player. You hold on to them in the next couple days. You're going to be sitting really, really good. But the whole point of doing these SBCs is to make our coins and get more coins from these because of all the players that are selling for higher values because there's not a lot of supply on the market yet. We're going to take the coins that we make from these SBCs and we are going to invest in meta gold cards. Cards that maybe are going out of packs for ones to watch or cards that are just very meta that people are going to be buying for their teams in the next couple of days as EA access starts and as early access pre-orders get on the game as well. We'll talk more about those investments in a future video. But for now, the thing that I want you guys to focus on is when you get on the web app, you get in, you open your pre-order packs, you get your coins, and you, you do the hybrid leagues and the hybrid nations SBCs, and you look to start to make some investments on gold cards that will rise up because people will buy them for their teams. That is the A1 thing I want you guys to remember. Now, you can also trade on the web app. So let's say you open your pre-order packs and you get absolutely nothing and you don't have enough coins to do either of these SBCs. What you're going to want to do then is do some trading with players that people are going to be using for those SBCs that you want to do. Because at this point in the game, at this stage, nobody can play games. Nobody is really buying a lot of teams. Some people are starting to buy cards because they have some coins, they've packed some things. But most people, the most activity happening on the market is, hap is happening because of these SBCs that we just talked about. The hybrid leagues and the hybrid nations, people are going and doing these like I'm instructing you to do, and they're trying to see if they can pack something sick and even get more coins. So if you're wanting to trade with bidding, with sniping on players in the web app stages, of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team startup, you want to be focusing on players that are going to be used in those SBCs, top five leagues, top five nations, and especially players that have a good nationality, so French, uh, France, Spain, Argentina, uh, England, you know, those types of nationalities, but they're in a non-top five league, so like Liga Nos players, Turkish League players that might be French, that might be um, Argentine, a lot of those players are needed for these two SBCs because you need different nations and different leagues. Like this first 11 for a 50K pack, you have to have an entire squad with exactly 11 leagues and you still have to have a decent amount of chemistry. So Argentine, Dutch players, French players, Brazilians, those are going to be the types of players that you want to try to bid and snipe in the first couple of hours or first couple of days on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team in the web app. As you can see here, I've got a Richarlison, I've got some Inigo Martinez. These are the types of cards, especially non-rares, that you want to get on the bids for because people are, are packing these types of players and trying to sell them. One undercut or one low listing is all it takes for you to make a couple hundred coins on a card. You find a card that works for you and you keep flipping and, and, and bidding and making your coins and eventually you're going to get to a place where you can do these SBCs. And the one thing I, I want to be very specific on is what players do you want to trade and, and snipe and bid on? Look at these SBC solutions on Footbin. When the advanced SBCs come out, there are going to be solutions posted on footbin.com. I'll put a link down below where you can find these, these solutions at. Uh, it's basically on the active challenges page, advanced, find the SBC. People will be completing these challenges in here and people will be wanting to do these SBCs. So they'll come inside of a Footbin 
and they will look and see, oh, right, this is the cheapest solution right now to complete the hybrid leagues SBC for the 50K pack. Now, obviously, this requires loyalty, so we might not like that, but um, for the SBCs that don't require loyalty, that's the huge ones. But you see this, you say, okay, Doherty, Willy Bali, Iwobi, Bufal, Giroud, Xhaka, these are some of the players that are in this SBC. Footpin says they're going for 3.9K right now. If I actually go back to the market and look, they might actually be going for more than that. So obviously people are go to these solutions and they look and they'll pay extra coins because it's just the easy solution that is right in front of them. So uh, what you want to do is uh, look for these players on the market and realize, hey, people are paying extra for these. Look for snipes and undercuts because the footbin price might say 1,100 coins for this player, but he actually might be 2K on the market because people are going and buying him because of this SBC solution is quote unquote the cheapest. You find some undercuts, you get on some bids, and you're able to make some coins that way. SBC solution trading is really, really good in the web app stages of FIFA 21. So that's how you can get off the ground on the web app. Let's talk about e a access ea access is now renamed ea play and basically what it is is a 10 hour trial where you will actually be able to get onto your console uh and play fifa 21 on the console but only for 10 hours and this trial is going to start somewhere in the time frame of october 1st and october 2nd so a day or two after the web app comes out is when you'll be able to get on ea access it does cost $4.99 USD per month. But all you have to do is get it for one month to get your trial. So what you can do is pay for the one month, um, sign up for the subscription, do it one month, and then you can cancel your subscription after, you know, in the middle of uh, October or so, um, when your subscription would renew, you can cancel it then, you don't get charged anymore, and you got your 10 hours of, of EA access to, be actual, to actually play on the game. And this is where the market really, really starts to move. When when the game opens up, when people get on the game because of EA access, this is where you know people start to make coins. People that have FIFA points are able to transfer over those FIFA points and actually open packs on the game and even transfer those FIFA points onto their web app and open those packs there. So that's a lot of supply and a lot of coins that come on the market. And those meta players that we that we talked about investing in, ones to watch out of packs golds or just meta golds in general that people are going to be building teams with, those are going to start to rise up in price as people can actually get on and play the game on EA Access. Now, one thing I want to talk about with this EA Access Let's say you, you've done the web app, you've done the advanced SBCs, you're starting to trade, you have some coins. What do you do on EA Access? With your EA Access time, you want to do one thing and one thing only, and that is going to be play games. Yes, you want to be playing division rivals and you want to be playing squad battles games now when you first get on ea access depending on what day it is it's probably going to be a thursday or friday so the next set of rewards that will come out inside of fifa 21 would be the squad battle rewards that would come out on that sunday so with your 10 hours what you would want to do is start playing squad battles because you will get packs sooner rather than later if you play division rivals first you might not get those packs until the next thursday so you want to play squad battles right away that has some advantages to it because you'll be able to play the new game with your players in your club and you'll start to get a hang of the gameplay against the computer before you actually have to turn to online now, maybe your 10 hours isn't up yet and you've been playing games, you've got some squad battle rewards, you want to play some division rivals, you can start to play division rivals as well, um, but just know that a lot of people with division rivals this year and with the new um, the new ranking system, with um, how they're doing the, every time you get promoted, um, let's FIFA Ultimate Team, I'm trying to find the pitch notes right now for this, uh, but every time you get promoted in FIFA 21 and Division Rivals, you get a coin boost. The first time that you get promoted to a new division, uh, you get um, you get promoted. Now, back over here onto the webpage, I will show you that this is how this works. So you get a division promotion reward of, now it's not necessarily 10,000 coins for Division 1, but every time you rank up to a new division, you're going to get a coin boost. This has a lot of people thinking that you are going to um, want to start off in a low division. That might not be the case. Think about it this way. Let's say you start out in division 10 and work your way all the way up by playing games throughout the year to get the coin boosts. Yes, you might get a couple extra coins from doing that. 
The only downside for that is if you're somebody who plays foot champions or if you just want better packs for rewards, you don't get as good of packs in division 10, 9, and 8 as you do in division 3, 4, 2, or 1. So you kind of have to weigh that out. And maybe once we get into FIFA 21 and we see how many coins are being rewarded for those lower divisions and for those upper divisions, it might actually, you know, some people have been talking about tanking all their placement games and losing a lot of them. So they start in division eight, nine, or 10. I don't actually think you want to do that. I think you want to play as you normally would try to start off as high as you can so that you get the best rewards possible from division rivals rewards the first week that those rewards do come out on the game. So that is what I wanted to kind of cover with you guys today. I wanted to cover it for you in a shorter fashion. I didn't want this to be too long. We're going to go in depth on more web app trading methods and whether you should sell or keep some cards um, and also go into more um, EA access detail about what to do in those time periods on separate videos uh, on this channel as well. So if you did enjoy this video and it helped you out in any way, get your start in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team please leave a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, of course, drop them down below. And of course, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.